good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite Legends set review on the Target exclusive WWE Elite Legends Series 17 full action figure wave. As you guys can see, we already have the chase in here. Got both Shamrocks, AJ Styles, Shawn Michaels, and Ultimate Warrior, or Dingo Warrior, or whatever the hell you want to say. I think I, I like this wave a lot, actually. I I'm pretty hyped for it. I think that it's so cool that we have this throwback AJ Styles. Very creative and outside the box thinking to plug him in here in this look get that short haired AJ Styles what a creative way for Mattel to do so and these should be hitting your targets right now these are target exclusive the legends line is always target exclusive but you guys know as well as I do middle of the year 2022 these things started hitting heavy clearance and I think this wave has already hit heavy clearance especially online they I okay I'm pretty pissed off because I paid full price for all of them 22 bucks a piece and then I find out that they're marked 50% off so I don't know what's going on man I, they're, they're apparently 50% off right now I need to go back. I bought two of these. I had two Shamrocks. They had plenty more, but I, I definitely wanted more Sean, so I bought an extra Sean. But nonetheless, man, here is the Elite Legends Series 17 wave. Kind of wild that we have 17 Legend Series. I know we only have four per wave, and we have the Chase, but let's take a look at these guys. Starting out first, we do have our Shamrock here. Same exact packaging as always with the Legends waves. You know, nothing like over the top or magnificent, but it does have like that brown legendary color. You got the blue, which I do believe is the Chase. The blue is the, the Chase or the Shamrock figure. You got an image of Shamrock. Shamrock, Shamrock there. Rest of the figures in the wave. You know, standard packaging that we are used to, but then you also have the green version, which again, I think the blue is the chase, but he comes with the oval icy title. Now, I never got his first figure. I never got the Elite 52 Ken Shamrock, so I'm actually excited to add these two Shamrocks to the collection here today. Next up is the AJ Styles. He even comes with a Nitro shirt. Very, very cool here. I love that shot of AJ there. I've seen endless amounts of fix-ups of AJ Styles in this, in this get-up. They've been putting that head sculpt on every figure. Here we have the Legend Sean looking very quality. Love the way the Sean looks. I love the double jointed arms. This is going to be probably my favorite figure in the set. We'll have to see. And then we also have the Ultimate Warrior with the interchangeable head sculpts. Man is looking like a snack. Look at him right there. You think you have that mustache? Okay, first of all, you think you're a unit, and then you think you have the good mustache, Brad? I don't think so. Nonetheless, man, we're going to crack all five of these guys out of their packaging, find out what the wave is all about, break down all the figures, take a look at the chase, and just simply go through WWE Elite Series 17 of the Legends wave. So, let's shut the hell up and do so. All right, guys, so here's every figure out of the set lined up again, man. When you have a full set like this, typically we don't go, you know, one by one like we do in our typical reviews. I guess we could sometimes, but sometimes the best thing is just line them up and do it like this, you know? So if you're wondering why the Ken Shamrock's arms are the way they are, man, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. These figures right here are already pissing me off. You know, one of my biggest pet peeves is this, like, look at this shoulder, first of all. Like, look at that right there, bro. That's unacceptable, and also, it's like... Uh, okay, I love the new muscular arms, right? They look so much more accurate. They give, like, a sense of detail to it. You know, like the striated deltoid muscles right here in the shoulders. This figure has it. Bobby Lashley, John Cena, The Rock. I think even Roman Reigns has it. All right, I finally got it like that. But you guys can see there's, like, separation right there. And it has made it where the shoulder's loose. And this one over here is still pretty stuck here. And, like, the only way you could, like, dude, it is super stuck. And you guys can see the arm is out like that because I can't get it to come up. If I can't get it to come up... I can't get it to go back down either, and it gets stuck, and then it gets really loose, and then the bicep double-jointed arm will be super loose. So that is something that pisses me off about my tails, especially, I only find it with women's figures, and then this big torso. So the Dingo Warrior actually didn't have that issue. I didn't have any issues with that. I didn't have any issues with Bobby Lashley, but nonetheless, getting into the figure outside of those issues, that one has it too, so, you know. But I like this head sculpt a lot. You know, it's very similar to the Elite 52, but it has like true effects on it, so I actually like it a lot. I think it does favor him. I like like Ken Shamrock, I thought, you know, I always thought he was great. I like the trunks here with the Shamrock. You guys can see in the silver and black. On the back, there's nothing. He does have, like, sun. It's not Johnny Gargano Syndrome, but it is similar to Johnny Gargano Syndrome because they did give him, like, the old Seth Rollins kick pads, but he doesn't have the lip or, you know, whatever on the top. He does have the big blue and black knee pads. I like the silver details and stuff like that. He is not on ball joints, so his legs are a bit stiff. One thing that I really like about the figure is he does come with the MMA gloved fist hands with the gauntlets or the wrists, you know, wrists gauntlet deals here. And then he also comes with the pointer finger in the same MMA gloves, which I love. You know, you can use that for Goldberg, Brock Lesnar. Very unique gloves right here. I think we've seen these before with the Ultimate Edition Goldberg, but I could be wrong. And then outside of that, we also got mic holding hands. So you get the mic holding or weapon wielding hands, and they are in the same, you know, glove sculpt. And then outside of that, you get an Intercontinental Championship. This is my favorite iteration of the Intercontinental Championship. It is the Oval Intercontinental Championship. So beautiful. What a great title belt. I'd like to get one of these one day, but you know, I have a small collection 
collection of championships and this one would go right in there with it. I try to get only my favorite championships. I know I have a universal championship and it's one of my least favorite designs, but it does have the Finn Balor side plates on there, so I guess it works, but Intercontinental Championship looks great. Now, getting into the normal version of Ken Shamrock or the regular version, not the Chase Edition. Again, I think that's correct. You guys can see the shoulders are, you know, they're out there. I love the build again. Like, it looks great as a Ken Shamrock formula. I'm not knocking that. I think it does work. He was a jacked individual, but dude, this, these shoulders not being able to go down does really bother me, but he does come with the exact same accessories as the Chase. There's no difference there. You get the IC title, you get the pointer finger gloved hands, you get the fisted hands, you get the mic holding hands. Again, I like the head sculpt a lot. The trunks are different. They are in green, and then you have the, the gold and black in here with the shamrock, which looks really sweet. Love the way that looks, and then he has nothing on the back. Similar knee pads. Instead of the black being in the middle, it is on the outside, so you have the green big knee pad. And then one thing I really like about these kick pads is you do have the shamrock in the green and gold on both sides, which looks really, really good. Again, it is that Seth Rollins kick pad mold, not the full kick pads, but they are in black, and it is a nice transition or a different change up to the other. I don't think we've really ever seen a different head sculpt. You know, if you could get a different head sculpt for Shamrock, you could put that on the regular, the chase, and kind of change it up so you don't have, you know, basically the same figure, but I'm all for the chase figures. I think they look great. I like this one, and the only thing that bothers me, man, is these Degum shoulders, which, see that? I pushed it up, but now the bicep is, like, loose, and then when you try to push it down, same deal. It d likes to get all weird. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my Lord, bro. The shoulders, they drive me nuts. Next up, we do have the AJ Styles. Now, I think it works great for a young AJ Styles or a, you know, a throwback AJ Styles right here. The short hair, it brings me back to TNA, man. I feel like I'm looking at a TNA elite AJ Styles here, but very plain Jane. I'm worried about this figure show forming. I feel like sh AJ Styles figure show form anyway, but I feel like it's because the figures just aren't that appealing. I hate the torso they give him. You know, they give him this Daniel Bryan torso, which is its own deal. They give it to Shawn Michaels as well. I feel like Shawn's is different, though. I feel like Shawn gets away with it better than AJ. I, you know, the Sin Cara torso repainted would be perfect for AJ Styles in the formula and giving him thicker legs. That's why I'm so excited for the Ultimate Edition. I think it's going to be perfect, but this is a great head sculpt. You know, I don't know if I'll leave him like this. I may grab a few more copies just for the head sculpt for potential fix ups, but the double jointed arms look good. You got the black wrist tape. He's got like these maroonish brownish trunks there. You see AJ Styles, and then he's got like this little, I don't even know, like little gold design on the side. He's got regular knee pads, black lower legs, and then he has the full black kick pads. Again, very plain Jane figure, man. I don't know how well this is going to sell and do, but we will have to, you know, we'll have to check on that and just see how it goes. But I like AJ Styles. I think this figure looks great. I'm a fan of it, but I know the, the regular consumer may not be, but he does come with fists, and then he also comes with regular mic holding hands and the AJ Styles skin tone. And then we also get a Monday Night Nitro WCW shirt, which is very cool. You know, you can put this, you know, on a world of different people that we've seen. The sleeves are kind of tucked up in there. It is a short sleeve shirt, but yeah, Monday Night Nitro. This is back when AJ Styles made an appearance on WCW, and since WWE owns the rights to that, they could they could make that throwback AJ Styles, which is very cool, but there is a Monday Night Nitro shirt. Next up in the set is going to be Shawn Michaels. Now, he actually, like, if you guys are gonna notice, this basically is a re-release of the Ringside Exclusive Shawn, which a lot of people are probably pissed off about. I mean, it has the same exact jacket, you know, the black tape. The gear is slightly different. It's not the exact same gear, but it's very similar so they kind of did a repaint on that figure. It's got the same exact head sculpt. He's got the, you know, the earrings in there, mullet hair sculpt. He's got this nice jacket in here with all the bells and whistles on it on the back. I'm too sexy for this crowd. It's got all these chains and the black belt and everything going on with it. Fits the figure very nice and well. The shoulders on this figure are very nice. He's got black wrist tape. Love the gear in the zebra and white. Very, very clean. It's the reason I bought two of them for potential customs and fix-ups of the future. Black open knee pads and then he does have the sick-ass dirt bike style boots with the black and the white, which is super, the contrast is just so nice. But this figure looks a bit like his uh, his Walmart flashback figure and the ringside exclusive. So they're very, very similar, except he does have the double, double joint arms on there. This figure is actually really quality. I know it's basically a re-release, but I am actually a big fan of this figure. And that's, the, again, that's the reason I bought two of them. I just think there's a lot of good qualities here and I love Shawn Michaels. So, you know, you got some good stuff going on with it there. Now, again, you do get the small circular sunglasses. You get the fisted hands. You get the mic holding hands, which also also come in here and it does have the glove paint on the back actually is that sculpted they actually are sculpted 
Damn, that's nice. I think we have only seen these with like the ringside exclusive Hogan, I think. So that's very good. Well, look at that right there. Look at that sculpted glove detail right there. That is very quality, man. Love to see that. And here's that flashback Walmart Elite right here. You guys can see head sculpt's the same. It does have the double joint arm, so it's better there. You know, it's very similar though. Gears are very similar, but they are different. And we're doing, you know, again, in the Legends waves and different things like that, it's basically repaints. You do get some random new things like this Legends Warrior has a new head sculpt. AJ Styles has a new head sculpt. I mean, I guess technically Shamrock's a new head sculpt, but for the most part, they're repaints, and that's how they get those store exclusive waves in there without having to produce a ton more figures. So that is cool, but there's the Sean, and uh, we're going to rank this set at the end of the video for sure, but there is the flashback Sean. And last but not least, we do have the Ultimate Warrior in here, a classic or different look than Warrior than we're usually used to, but we do get the interchangeable Warrior head sculpt, which does look good. I think the likeness is there. I do believe this is an old head sculpt, just repainted. He's got the face paint, long brown hair in there. Very quality head sculpt i think that it works i don't know if they use true effects or not but it looks very very good it doesn't look cartoony at all so i do like that ultimate warrior head sculpt outside of that you have like you have like the gorilla press hands or throne sitting you know prey clasping sort of hands you get the mic holding hands of the ultimate warrior skin tone and then we do get the fisted hands which come on the figure now for the ultimate warrior's head sculpt man i actually like it a lot i think the brown hair color looks good the likeness is very good i like that the mustache is looking good you got the face paint in there very quality i think this looks really really good Again, the sculpt of the hair is very clean. You know, kind of a pre-match deal here. But he's looking really good. Same warrior torso, same warrior shoulders. I mean, this dude was absolutely massive. So you got the big arms, double jointed, red and black wrist tape. You got the red and blue gauntlets in here or the tassels. And uh, they actually are operational like the Ultimate Edition way back then. Very cool that they made that change and they never went back from it. Plain red trunks. They kind of have an orangey look to them, but I'd say they're kind of a deep red. You have the black and white open knee pads. Now, these knee pads, I know a lot of people could use for a lot of different characters to be honest with you but you know they don't have the tassels or anything plugged in there so you could use these on a world of people i know a lot of people are probably gonna be hunting these down for some certain customs you do have the tassels on the calves here which look really good as well very similar to the ones on the arms and then we do have these massive silver boots which look really clean actually and i think these came on warlord if i'm not mistaken these may be a new skull but i'm pretty sure we've seen these before on warlord or something like that so i love the white outsoles i love it you know i love boots that have a lot of straps on it so i'm all for this this. I think these look really clean. We may have gotten the, and, uh, I think it was Warlord if I'm not mistaken, but White Outsoles look good and uh, very unique warrior, man. Like, he feels like a warrior figure. He, he stands like a warrior figure. Like, this this feels very quality. Warrior figures are pretty detailed most of the time, and uh, this one's no different. You know, it's not your typical warrior with all the bright colors and the craziness, but I still like it. I think it's a quality figure. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and rank this set from worst to best since we have wrapped up the full wave. And starting out at the bottom, it's very hard to say, but those shoulders shoulders piss me off man they really really do like good god in heaven oh bro they piss me off but i like both gears anyways let's rank these from worst to best i really like the young aj styles head sculpt but the, the rest of the figure is black but at the same time i do like that we have this younger aj Styles. so let me just sit here a minute and figure out what my ranking's gonna be if these shoulders didn't piss me off i feel like i'd feel differently about this figure but my god man i think i know what my number one is but i don't know about the inner the, the rest of it because you know different things come into the different criteria for the ranking how good does the figure feel in hand posability likeness to the character how excited was i for the figure etc 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 all right guys i think i'm finally ready to rank this set from worst to best in my own personal opinion leave your ranking down in the comment section below if you'd like coming into the bottom man i went with the ultimate warrior as great as this figure is it's just not my cup of tea you know i i could have went without this figure not a bad figure i do like some of the things about it but i'd rather use this guy for fodder than have him in my collection so you know just not my cup of tea not my guy so he's gonna come in at the bottom for me next up i'm going with the chase ken shamrock i love blue blue's one of my favorite colors and i like the figure a lot but that shoulder dipped it just a bit and i think that the green one is a little bit more outside the box i like the green and gold even though blue silver and black is just chef's kiss for me i really like the kick pads how the shamrocks on there and you know these are basically the same figure but i think the green stands out better and i don't know green and shamrock just go together for me coming in at number two is going to to be the WCW AJ Styles. I just love that head sculpt so much, and I think it's such a cool figure to be able to include here. As plain Jane as it is, I love it. But coming in at number one had to be Shawn Michaels. I was so excited for that figure. I think it lived up to the hype. I know it's practically a re-release, but I'm all aboard the Shawn wagon. It's a beautiful figure. I love zebra print. Black and white are two of my favorite colors, especially when you put them together. It is white gear. I mean, chef's kiss. Love the Shawn Michaels. It had to come in at number one. But that's going to wrap up my Target exclusive WWE Elite 
Legends Series 17 full wave review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Again, you can get these only at Target, so definitely go check that out. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. Whoa.